We are back with a brand new video. What is good, Heat Nation? And we are back uh, talking Heat basketball. I took a little bit of a break, like a week, uh, just because it was Thanksgiving break and you know family was over. But um, we're back making Heat videos, man. Um, and the Heat are on three-game winning streak. Just finished and wrapped up a win against the Atlanta Hawks, 106 to 98. Without Jimmy Butler, snapped their seven-game road losing streak. A lot of positives to take away from this game, man. But um, we're gonna start off with the player of the game and probably the player of the month and maybe even the player of the season for the Miami Heat. Bam Adebayo has been on an absolute tear. 32 points, eight rebounds and one assist in this game. And his last game, he had 38 and a double-double with his rebounds. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but um, man, we're gonna be we're gonna be dissecting this game um, and, and looking into, you know, the Heat. Almost being at 500 again, 10 and 11. They're starting to, you know, slowly get uh, things around and turn things around and um, become the Miami Heat that we've all accustomed to seeing over these past couple of years with their defense. There are a number of players that we do have to credit for this win, though, and for these past three wins in general, man. Caleb Martin, extremely, uh, you know, pr good performances over these past three games. He has been really really uh, playing well and in this game he had 20 points but he had i think 17 in the last game like he was he was doing a lot of good things over these past couple of games and i'm very encouraged to see caleb martin's growth on this team i don't think he's a natural four um so the fact that he's blossoming in four minutes and even three minutes which i think that's his natural position is very encouraging to see um i'm extremely happy with his performance Another player we do got a credit tonight, Max Struess, was a big part of why the offense was actually being sustained in the first half. Um, he kept us afloat, honestly, with the amount of threes that he hit in the first half, and that really, you know, kept us going. And then in the second half, a lot of our other players started to get going, like Bam. Um, Tyler Hero also had a triple double, um, and we got some key contributions from guys like Kyle Lowry, Drew Smith, with the big three, and even Dwayne Dedman, who I thought played really well tonight as well. So. Um, I'm, I'm I'm very happy with the Heat's performances over these past three games. I understand two of them were against the Wizards, but we did not have Jimmy Butler in either of these games. We haven't had him for six games, um, and, you know, it's it, it's encouraging. It's very encouraging that the Heat are winning without Jimmy Butler, um, you know, at a crucial time of the season because we cannot afford to, you know, uh, put ourselves even lower in the standings. Like, right now we're 10 and 11. I don't know where that puts us in the standings. Um, I think that probably puts us at like the nine or the 10 seed, which is ultimately not where we want to be, but it's a lot better than where we were before. And uh, like I said, we do have a tough stretch of games coming up. I think we played Boston twice. You know, Boston's been on a roll uh, so far this season. They've been looking like one of the best teams in the league, probably the best team in the league, you know, as far as how they've been playing this season. We also play Memphis, um, which is going to be a tough game as well. They're, they're a playoff team for sure. Um, then we play Detroit, um, which should be a win. But then we play the Clippers. Who knows how the Clippers are going to play us? The Clippers always play tough. Um, and uh, they, they always seem to expose our switching defense at times with Zubac on a point guard. Um, but yeah, these next couple of games, like if we can get through Boston twice and Memphis, apart from the Clippers game, the schedule looks pretty weak uh, you know, for us. We don't really play too many good teams. We play the Pistons, we play the Spurs twice, we play the Pacers, we play the Thunder, and we play the Rockets. Now, understand, on any given, you know, day or uh, on any given night, you know, a team can win um, against any other team in the league. But, you know, we should be able to take care of business against out of those one, two, three, four, five, six games against sub 500 teams. We should be able to win at least five of them. Um, so, like I said, we just got to take care of business against uh, Boston I just want us to win one of the games in Boston, and then um, after, we, and then and then and then potentially win the game against Memphis. If we can go on that stretch and be two and one, um, and to to close out the road trip, and then when we come back home um, against Detroit and the Clippers and the Spurs and the the Pacers and all these other teams, we should be able to put ourselves in a, posi a position to be over 500. Uh, for the first time this season which will be a very very good um you know thing for the, for this team you know we, we started off very slowly but uh being over 500 for the first time would be a good accomplishment for this team i know it's not where we want to be but um it's it's better than where we were previously and uh it could honestly give us something that we're kind of building on something um 
the guys, you know, have, have stepped up, man. I haven't even made like a video talking about Nikola Jovic because I think he's been playing extremely well. He didn't play tonight um, because of like a foot or like a toe injury. But whenever he's been given minutes, he's been really excelling. And um, I think that Nikola Jovic is probably one of the steals of the draft to 27. Like that is just a crazy, a crazy steal that we got him that low. But yeah, man, I I'm super excited to see. Um, you know where this team goes again two really tough games against Boston it's not going to be easy man Boston is a very good team as we all know knocked us out in the conference finals last year um, and they have some really good pieces like we, we all know about Tatum and Brown and Smart and Horford and all these other guys like and they're they're having you know guys come off their bench who you know didn't really get PT last season like Sam Hauser Sam Hauser has been a really good pickup for them you know he's been on their bench for a couple years now he's he was actually someone i think the heat were trying to get he was undrafted i think a couple years ago out of virginia and uh the celtics ended up getting him and sam has has been looking really really good um you know he's a sniper uh they obviously still have grant williams peyton pritchard looks has looked really good off the bench malcolm brogdon another key pickup for them that has you know looked good in his minutes this season um they just have guys like Derek white like these guys are just gamers and you know it's not going to be easy to beat this team especially on the road twice in td garden like you know i would not be surprised at all if the heat were underdogs in this game i'm pretty sure we are like they're 15 and 4 we're 10 and 11 uh we potentially do not have jimmy butler like and 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 they're playing extremely good right now um uh, like they are they should be the favorites to win this game but you don't know anything could happen if, if we win at least one of those two games against boston i'm happy hopefully jimmy can come back soon though because i think we really need jimmy against one of these boston games just because like that's that's how i think we give ourselves the best chances when jimmy is here um if jimmy's not there it's going to be another game where bam is going to have to take over again they don't really have like their, their, their biggest weakness is probably their center position without robert williams right now He's going to have to attack Al Horford every single time. Same with, I don't know, who I don't, I don't even know who their backup is. Is it Luke Cornette? Um, it's gonna, they're gonna have, he's going to have to attack. He's going to have to be aggressive, and he's going to have to make sure that he's he's, he's going off because um, we, we're going to need Bam if we want to win this game. We're going to need him to drop at least 30 in one of these two games. But, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here, man. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.